Uh, my name is Frank Chester. I'm a geometrician um, and I have been studying uh, forms for uh, over 20 years. And this lecture is about um, that the heart is not a pump. Uh, or is the heart a pump? Or what is it then? What is it if it isn't these two? What, what possibly can we say about the heart? And uh, because of these two views, uh, even three views, um, I think it would be really good to just see what I have done and you decide. You, you figure out, uh, you know, is it a pump or is it not a pump? I, I just, I'm not going to tell you what I think. So it's, it should be interesting. I used three tools and all I used was a compass like this, a straight edge, and a pencil. That's the basis of my research on the heart. So I'll show you how I started. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you some geometry that I think is necessary for you to understand a lot about which side is this? Where is this? All right. And then I realized that from this corner to this corner is the axis of the tetrahedron in a cube is root three. It's root three. It sits in the cube at root three. And root three in the cube is approximately between 35 and 36 degrees. That's at the angle that it fits in the cube. So what I did is, here is the angle that the myocardial fibers run, okay, in the part. And as I unspin this, you will see that the angle changes. All right, so now you can see that actually the midpoint is straight across. So they're going around like this in circles. But if I continue to unwrap it, it changes directions, and now it's going from the bottom to the upper area. MIRs, magnets, echoes, sounds, microscopes, and not fine. Geometry can find it. And geometry is nothing but a stick, a compass, and a pencil. And there's no measurements. I never used a computer on any of this. This is, I think, the real mystery of the heart. All right, now listen, this is what's amazing. The blood is what opens and closes the valves. Here it is. This is what is actually happening in the heart that you can't see. This is what's happening. And the only explanation for this, okay, the only explanation is, is that something inside the geometry of the human heart is going on and this is this is the real essence of what i found yet that is just so powerful the inside of the heart has a chamber and this is the shape of the chamber this is the architect this is the architecture of the internal um chamber i call it a chamber okay so what's happening is is that because of this geometry, it's reversing all the time. It's reversing like this. Look, this part's going, the blood's coming in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And it goes like this because that's how the heart works. It works like, a, a, like this. So it's forcing the blood this way and sucking it this way. It's doing reversing this way. And now it's sucking this way and reversing the other way. And this is the secret of the pulse. This is how come the heart has a pulse. And that means that, yes, it is a vortex, but the vortex reverses. And that's why you have all these reversals in the shape that I showed you. 